What is up YouTube? It has been a while since I've made my last video and because of that there's been a lot that went on and I know it just keeps on having these long arduous separations between each of my uploads. Um, so a little update on life. I have moved back to California. My kids and my fiance are still back in Arizona. Um, I moved back out here because Arizona was just dead. I couldn't find any work out there. And so I came back out here since the industry is out here and all my friends are out here. So um, I do have a couple, I have one job potentially in Italy that might happen and that would be life changing. But if not, I'm gonna be looking for work out here and um, staying in California. So I've completely reset my life right now and am trying to get everything all situated. On that note, I have also started to develop my first um, YouTube tutorial. Now, this tutorial is going to have two different versions. One version is going to be aimed for beginners who want to break into the industry and kind of want to get their foothold when it comes to character art. And that one will be paid and that one will be on my Gumroad. And I think I'll post it on Udemy and stuff since Udemy has sales and they make things really affordable um, to, to purchase there. But I'm going to see what I can do for Gumroad. Um, and make that enticing for you guys um, so you guys get it directly from me and don't have to go through anybody else um, other than that I am going to make a full version of the tutorial for free on YouTube and that more caters towards people who are already into 3d um, but maybe want to switch over to blender because this is going to be a full blender character art pipeline tutorial that I'm going to be uploading for free um, I am going to be doing a small guideline, um, kind of like game art uh, tutorial with one of the props from the characters, or from what, the character that I'm making, and that one is going to be um, specifically on the, the, the weapon that I'm giving the character, and at least the pipeline that I went along there. So then you guys can understand what's going to be in the tutorial as you progress further in it, or as it comes out piece by piece. I'm going to be um, putting these out in chapters, because right now, until... I can actually monetize YouTube or anything like that, or even my tutorials, I have to be working um, to provide for my family. Um, so I, I, it, everything's, everything's in, in work in progress. Um, but I wanted to announce that to you guys that I will be coming out with a free full character art tutorial on YouTube and a paid version on my Gumroad uh, for beginners. I know usually you, you want something on YouTube for more, for more beginners, but I think people who are serious and want to learn this stuff and learn the craft the beginner one is going to be much more comprehensive uh, with backgrounds of like what you need to know for character art and things like that um, and kind of giving you a foundation in game art um, where the YouTube one is going to be uh, again for those who already understand or have an inkling or conception on what it takes to be a 3D modeler okay and then also for those who maybe want to convert from Maya, Max um, or whatever else and come into Blender and at least have a, a good foundation on figuring out the tools and everything. Um, so that is news there. And uh, this video for you guys is why I switched to Linux. Now uh, I'm gonna write down the key reasons why I switched down to Linux in this video. And uh, it was kind of a hard decision to make due to you know most of the software that I did grow up learning um, to work in the industry with is on Windows. But since I am pushing forward with open source and trying to help you guys succeed and the tools in, open, in the open source community have gotten so much better, I really want to prove to people out there that you can make professional work with free software. And um, that being said, let's get to the video and I'll tell you why I switched over to Linux. Okay, so first reason I switched over to Linux is due to it runs better on machines. Um, Windows is a resource hog. Um, if you look at Windows idling, it's, I gotta find it somewhere, but even when I checked it on my laptop, so it was about two, two and a half gigs, just idling, doing nothing. That's with all the resources that it's pulling, that's with everything that's doing in the background. Where Linux, my, my Pop OS, because um, that's what I'm running, 
it idles anywhere from one to one point one and a half gigs so i'm getting a gig back in resources that i can use for rendering and all other sorts of things multitasking all that stuff um so that's the first reason why i switched over was because it's faster it just runs cleaner number two reason i switched over from windows to linux is the security and uh, you know i'm always i'm always nervous even though i'm not going on sketchy websites on windows i'm always nervous on what could be coming in now i know there was a few scares recently with linux but it was more on you had to download a certain software and all that good stuff i'm not too heavy into that stuff but what i researched is for my use and scenario I would never have to worry about it. Um, you know, Linux has a smaller portion of the market, so not a lot of people are trying to go after it when it comes to um, you know malware or viruses and things like that. Um, there is virus protection um, on Linux, but you don't really need it as long as you're doing things safe. Um, and for me, I'm just using it to create art and do creative things on it and surf the web on websites that I know are trusted. So that would be number two. Number three is um, all the open source software that I've already talked about it, um, that it runs better, um, but all the open source software that I'm using, it's all compatible with Linux. Um, my game engine Godot is on there. I mean, I think even Unity and Unreal is compatible with it now. Um, Steam, I don't really play that many games on my laptop, but um, Steam has become a lot more Linux friendly. It's not, it doesn't, you're not going to beat the benchmarks that are on Windows, but things are playable, you know. Uh, another thing is, um, I just, I just really like the community around Linux, around, especially Pop! OS with System76. They're making it a lot more user friendly. The last time I really touched Linux was back in high school, and that was confusing. Um... You know, I still haven't delved into a lot of it. I've just been using it strictly to create, and um, it's been pretty easy. Like, it doesn't seem that hard or anything to learn. Um, there's a couple things that are a little bit different, but once you, if you're open to learning it, it's, it'll be fine. Um, then you have, um, um, you have Blender, which pretty much does almost everything you can think of as far as 3D digital artwork does. And with 2.81 coming out and the new sculpting features and just the, the, the optimization on everything, it's, it, I mean, I, I don't really miss my old tools all that much. It's just really taking the time to learn the new pipeline. But once I get, I get a hold of it, I, I I'm gonna be fine and I'm gonna be pumping out. Like that's why I'm doing this character art tutorial because I'm learning as much as I'm teaching you guys. And um, I really wanna take my time on this to knock this out of the park and really show what these softwares are capable of. Uh, but I got Blender there, I got Armor Paint. Um, I got Krita, I got Gimp, which has come so, uh, so much further. Uh, and then I got Darktable to do my photography. Um, so, I really have everything that I need on Linux and I don't really need to look back. Um, I think if I want to use ZBrush again, I'm going to have to figure out how to make Wine work with it because um, I know the 2019 works on there right now. Um, and then the last thing is I, I kind of had no choice but to switch over um, to Linux. Um, my desktop was having some problems and when we were I was planning to move back to California. I had to sell some things to uh, make up, you know, for the money to move back. And so I got rid of my desktop, which is Windows. And all I had left was my laptop, which I already converted over to Linux because I wanted to make sure that it's using the resources properly and wasn't so hungry, like, um, uh, or wasn't eating up so many resources like Windows does. Uh, because the laptop, even though it's, it's decently like it's a, it's a pretty good laptop. I mean, the graphics card is is a little older, but you know, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a quad core processor, um, and I want to make sure all that resource was being used properly. That it wasn't being hogged up by some back end thing in the in the background of an of an operating system, um, because I felt like on Windows it just chugged. And since I was going over to open source software, they open immediately. 
um, and so much uh, more optimized for Linux compared to Windows, where Windows, you know, some of them would take, you know, 30 seconds to a minute to op just to open, and then um, would have some pretty bad delays on certain um, scenarios depending on the software that I would use. Um, so all the software that I have been switching over to, it just runs cleaner on Linux. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing that I can hound home in this video. The biggest reason I switched over is the software that I'm using now to create all my artwork just runs so much better on, on Linux. Um, but I'm enjoying my time on Linux. I am excited to share um, my, my learnings with you guys. And I'm excited to do this new tutorial for you guys too. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or any you know thing that I haven't talked about in here, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I'll direct you to uh, the operating system that I'm using, um, the distro for Linux that I'm using specifically in the link below. And um, other than that guys, I hope you're doing well. I look forward to being back on YouTube, but I promise, I promise, I promise. I'm going to be a lot uh, stricter about getting videos out um, because it is much as important that I do this uh, for me as it is um, for you guys to learn. Um, I wanna make a living doing this, uh, giving out free content to you guys to succeed. And so if that's gonna take a few months, a year, whatever, I'm going to push forward with it because I believe everybody deserves a slice of happiness no matter what they're doing, as, as, uh, especially with the arts. Um, so um, I'm going to start opening, I think, a donation page. I don't want to do Patreon. I already did it before and I, you know, I have a lot of mistakes with that um, and it's just, it's a lot to run. So I'm going to have a Libra, uh, a Libra pay and I think a, a PayPal button or link that you guys can donate to if you want to help out the channel uh, and help me uh, making this content um, but right now until i can get something stable going on here um, through here through donations i'm gonna have to look for full-time work um, but i just want to let you guys know that's why i've been distant from youtube for a while and i haven't been able to make some videos is because i've been trying to figure out what's the next move in life uh, since arizona didn't work out but other than that, guys, again, peace. You guys have a wonderful weekend, wonderful week, wonderful day, whatever or night, whatever time you're watching this, and I will talk to you soon.